Wave Radio. Texas History Lessons presents an occasional daily dose of Texas history with your host, Michael. On April 18, 1931, Texas Sports Hall of Fame member and hometown son of St. Joe, Texas, Harley Sewell, first saw the light of day. After growing up in Montague County, northwest of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, the St. Joe Panther football star attended the University of Texas in Austin. Standing six feet one inch tall and weighing in at 230 pounds, Harley Sewell was a dominant defensive player and was a 1952 All-American. He was the defensive most valuable player at the 1953 Cotton Bowl against Tennessee. And the UT defense, thanks in large part evidently to Mr. Sewell, allowed only six Tennessee first downs and 32 yards of total offense. Tennessee had negative 14 rushing yards for the game. Talking about a just crushing defense. Mr. Sewell was also an All-Southwest Conference guard in 1951 and in 1952. And everything I read about him, everybody said he was a very, very hardworking, exceptionally quick on his feet player, which added to his dominance playing football. Sewell then went on to play 11 seasons in the NFL. He was the 13th pick in the first round of the 1953 NFL Draft and was selected by the Detroit Lions. Detroit moved him from defense and made him an offensive guard, utilizing his quickness. He started at right guard as a rookie and was an important part of the team that won the 1953 NFL Championship. He played for Detroit from 1953 to 1962 and then played for the Los Angeles Rams for one season, 1963. He made it to four Pro Bowls in 1957, 1958, 1959, and in 1962. And after his career as a player ended, he wasn't done with football. He went on to scout for the Los Angeles Rams for 37 years. And he was inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame in 2000. Mr. Sewell died at the age of 80 on December 17, 2011. So here's a salute to the memory of football great Harley Sewell. That's your Daily Dose of Texas History. We'll be back soon with more. And as usual, theme music is by the great Derek McLennan. So thanks again to him. Go check out his songs that are out everywhere. But since this was about a gentleman from St. Joe, Texas, why not share a song by a great artist from St. Joe, Texas, Mr. Jared Flushy. This is his song, Trash Talk. So thanks for listening. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Be kind. Adios. Kill me, and I bet it's over money that I owe. Hard to draw a fine line between what's right and wrong, but you still reap the seeds you sow. Yeah, it's probably some gambling debt from an underground poker ring. Yeah, people get off all the time. You'd be surprised how that Red River's lined with greed. It's just trash talk. Trash talk. Yeah, Teresa got a baby daddy out in Kingston, and he don't know the kid is real. And she been telling her old man the kid is his, knowing that ain't even the deal. Well, Billy's got his mama's garage, fill the marijuana out in Marietta. Sometimes he goes over to that chicken salt truck stop, sells as much as the cops will let him. It's just trash talk. Yeah, I was just trash talk. The bill is 
his mama could cattle, she sells at the sale barn in Kingston. Sometimes he let Billy clean the stalls. Sometimes he fills the trailers up with pot, depending on if the trucker cares if he gets caught. Sometimes Teresa will ride up there with her old man. He's got a nice Peterbilt covered up with chrome. And one night she got to the sale barn a little bit early when she came to pick up her old man to go home. But that's just trash talk. <laughs>